Hard work on Pocket Watch here and it's about time for yet another episode of Fata Morgana. So yeah, let's continue the story because apparently we're going to learn something new about the beast because I remember last time when we finished uh, the save should be at something like he came here from like many seas or something, right? Right? So yeah. I really hope we get some insight for beasts, so let's go and let's see if the theory crafting was correct or not. <coughs> he came uh, from a faraway land across many seas. Yep, that's why different language. There was never any guarantee that we would see each other again. But I still believed that no matter how great the ocean that divided us, we're bound by our love. The one, the only thing that needed stand between us was physical distance. Never mind, that was not about the beast. That was actually about Pauline and the merchant. Okay, they got me. <laughs> they actually got me with this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we stick to our fury crafting then. Also, let me just like, uh, because I don't see anything, I should like, clean my glasses like, more often, I don't know, like, I see nothing and then I, I see HD, this is weird. <laughs> I wonder if he's here yet. Ah. Hello, my little... Okay, what do, what does it mean? Any idea? Anyone? Also, the game is too loud for me. Nijin 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 I don't even know how to pronounce that. What is this word? Can someone explain to me? What has uh, what has you so out of breath? Child, don't scare me like that. And where did you pick up the word like ninja? Exactly. <coughs> I never took you for someone so pretend uh, pretentious. <laughs> I'm sorry. You just looked uh, so much like a, ra a rabbit there. Uh, the way you are tossing your head back and forth, looking around for me. Um, this is too much for me, I'm sorry. Yep. Oh, yo. It's something you call a child. Really? I still don't know what that means, Pauline. Like, if you would explain, that would be nice. If not, then comment section probably would help. I'm not able to get it anymore. Like, is that like describing some kind of like behavior? Like childish behavior or something? Like, I don't get this. I'm sorry, really. Don't be mad, Pauline. <laughs> I'm not mad at all. It's in a year and a half. We finally get to see each other again. That we do. Did you have any trouble out of the sea? Did you fall ill, get caught in a storm, or run into kind of danger at all? No, there was no trouble. Everything went fine without incident. The sea god was uh, watching over us, I suppose. The big goddess. I was so worried. Did you give your promise? You came back for me, and you kept yours and waited for me. Of course I did. I trust you and I don't mind waiting. Even so, 18 months must have been a long time for you. It was. It felt long to me as well. Every day I would picture your face, recall the sound of your voice. But over time, I began to lose Sureti. Lost Sureti. It absolutely terrified me. 
Is that what you actually look like? Is that truly the sound of your voice? I have like little buster splashbacks now with this. You know the any, any of you played Little Busters or watched on the channel? Do you know who I mean? Why I have flashback? You mean you almost forgot? Not at all, Pauline. I was afraid that uh, in my profound love for you, my mind had created its own image. Or perhaps my adoration had grown so strong. It had turned you into a transcendent beauty like Cleopatra herself. You, you must have made me made some unseemly friends. Yeah. <laughs> you were never this much of the sweet talker. I bet you are disappointed though. Look at me. Homely woman you could find anywhere. <laughs> For some reason I find myself in a teasing mood. Please have mercy, or I'm uh, liable to lose your affection. What I'm trying to say is that being here with uh, the real you, putting my hands in yours, listening to you speak, and seeing you be, well, you, Pauline, is so much more wondrous than anything I imagined. And right now, I'm feeling stronger than ever. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, yeah, she's frustrated. <laughs> Guess you learn a thing or two about stock when you travel a lot, huh? You, you seem to have found yourself in a way with words. Yeah. I imagine you had plenty of time practice and other women. Oh my god. <laughs> Goodness, you fiend. Fiend? That's not terribly convincing with uh, your cheeks the color of wine. They are not. God. <laughs> hey, hey, now don't throw a fit. <laughs> You're the only one who can put me in such high spirits with a few simple words. Huh? Did you say something? Huh? Me? No, 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 nothing. Not a thing. Say, since you're finally back, how about we take a walk around town? You've taken uh, care of uh, all your work for the time being, right? So, you can spare some time for me? Absolutely, Pauline. As much as time allows, I will spend it with you. As much as time allows. Yeah. There's still no trace of him. It's been a week, and I found nothing. Considering my time limit, that needs to change fast. Yeah, you will not find him. But... Uh, excuse me, have you seen that man? This is drawing of what he looks like. Sorry, never seen him. Even the smallest piece of information helps. Okay. Suddenly she now speaks the language of this country. Well, it's like she's supposed to like know it like a little bit. And she's like, actually, pretty good now. Like, having no problem with conversations. Yeah, I know the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm too picky. <laughs> Even the smallest piece of information helps. If you heard about anything, who might have seen him? I said I haven't seen him. So, I don't know what to tell you. I'm a busy woman. Would you mind moving aside? Ah, sorry. I was told that he, that my lover lost his life out of work, but I don't believe it. They haven't shown me a body, so their information has to be an error. Yeah, he's been eaten. I mean, not eaten because the beast, like, it's not eating that people that he kills, right? But pro he's probably, like, buried somewhere in the garden or something. I have to be the one to find him. To prove he's still alive. Yeah, I didn't thought about this. Like, how how does Beast and the maid like utilize the the bodies? Like, did they like dig them up and just like I mean like dig the graves in the garden, just put them there, or they just like toss the bodies to the sea? Because the mansion is next to the sea, right? 
So maybe they're just like tossing them, like, you know, to the cave. I have to follow his tracks. I'm heard words that remnants of his ship drifted ashore near this village. So if he survived, he must be somewhere nearby. I'm certain of it, but I haven't been able to find any information of the sort. The villagers aren't being very cooperative. They're all just as reserved as the day arrived. Rather, I get the feeling they want to stay as far away from the trouble as they can. No matter what I ask, I can't get a straight answer from anyone. Everyone's still closed off. Because of the war, I guess. Yeah, could be. Or maybe the legend of the beast is around and they just don't want to speak with anyone new. I don't have time for people to be gone though. Yep, there he is again. Also, by the way, if you are not on Discord, uh, link is in the description if you would like to join. But recently, like in the art section, like there's like posts a lot of like uh, art from Fata Morgana. I believe they are arts from like novel, I believe. And this is just like perfect, like the art style of this like story and everything, this is so good. Like, god damn it. I really love how it looks. Is that the boy? He's the shore, uh, at the shore again. Always alone. God have mercy you again. What are they doing here? And always so callous. I came to get sentimental and watch the sunset. So original. What does it matter if I visit the seashore? The ocean doesn't belong to anyone. Good point. If I'm such a bother, then you're free to leave, like last time. You sure are cheeky for an outsider. I know the rest of the village isn't being all that cooperative. Nope. Also, yeah, about like theory about the beast and stuff. So first of all, two beasts didn't understand uh, their uh, their like each other language, so they're like from different countries. Um, the beast knew the word bestia. No, wait, did he knew the word bestia? Oh no, he did not. I just realized. Okay, never mind. I just had like under theory, but it just got debunked when I think about this. Never mind, because yeah, he realized what bestia means only when someone pointed pointed at the dog, and that's when he realized I'm bestia. Yeah. Okay, never mind then. Never mind then. So he didn't knew actually the word bestia. I thought like he's from the country that the word bestia is a thing. And this is the only word that he understood from what the people were shouting at him. But it's not the thing. Okay, never mind. Never mind then. So basically they are in Spain. Because bestia is like the Spanish word, apparently. From what the Google Translate said. Uh, so this guy is... Yeah... From somewhere. I thought like uh, basically my idea was that because the other, uh, only other language that I know that bestia means beast is Polish and I thought like maybe like this guy is like from Poland or something you know like I don't know <laughs> but yeah that's not the thing because he didn't realize the bestia being the word so yeah debunk that I still don't know the origin of that guy but this is like weird, like, how can we be in Spain? I mean, this is the same mansion that we saw in the first door, but the first door happened in England. So, it literally makes no sense to me. Why made this like, in this mansion when she was like in the first one? This is weird. I have no theory about this. Why does the thing? 
I have no idea. Nope. That's what this place is like now. Closed off. It's not kind to. It's not kind to outsiders. Really going to be able to keep uh, up the search with the entire town stonewalling you? Yes, I will. I won't give up for any reason. I have to find him to bring him home with me. Lady, your my name isn't Lady. It's Pauline. Pauline. The lady is Pauline. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Pauline? Is this person you're looking for still alive? Yeah. He is. Sure. That's what they believe. He has to be. Is that so? Well, have fun with that. Great. <laughs> this guy. I doubt you are going to get any help though. I wonder like if he's like going to be like more relevant to the story than he is now because so far like he's just like giving his like mindset and uh, and like just just the talking with Pauline. He's like the most reliable source of like discussion between these two basically kind of. I wonder if he's like something else. Also, I wonder like I don't know, like, I don't think I thought about this like that. Like, what in the timeline? What in the timeline is this? Like, did they like? Like, we know that Merchant is dead, but like the Beast versus Beast, did it happen? Meanwhile, this is happening, or it happened later, or did it happen before? You know. Like, the events in the mansion and the events uh, from Pauline's perspective. Like, where in the timeline they're, like, are attached to each other. That's what I'm interested in, and I need to figure this out. I think, like, if you will tell me, then that would be a spoiler. Because this is a place for Fury Crafting, I think. Because... Um, the Beast... Beast knew the language of the match. Okay, never mind. Okay. I'll... I don't know yet, but I might have some thoughts. I will see. Anyway, let's go. I need like more clues for now. Oh, so that's uh, what happened with that. I doubt you're going to get uh, any help though. And he's gone. He really left. Don't lose heart, Pauline. If you lose faith this easily, you will never find him. He is alive, isn't he? He is alive. I have faith. I believe. And he's back, what the hell? Oh, I thought you left. Take it. Huh? You are running the city, pacing around uh, on the beach. Is this an orange? Okay. They grow pretty large here, huh? Yeah, the oranges around this part are pretty good. People used to come out here just to buy them, in fact. Huh. You were to get one just for me? I just want to get rid of you. <laughs> Fair point. Once you finish eat, get lost, right? She's going to eat very slowly. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. You are not so bad after all. Like I said, this isn't me being nice or anything. Oh, there you go again. Yeah, 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 I got you all figured out, little man. You're actually a very sweet boy. And you were really trying to cheer me up, weren't you? Javi. You finally gave her a name. Wow. What? My name. This isn't little man. It's Javi. <laughs> yeah. Like, like she, right? I'm not Lady. I'm Pauline. All right then. Javier, that is okay. Why you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, not Javier. Just Javi. <laughs> I 
don't see what the big deal is, but okay. Hi, Javi. I really think we should be friends. What? Come on, let's be friends. Don't say you don't need any. You can make me friend number one. Uh, we'll have lots of fun. You just want to use me on your search. Because you can't get the villagers to talk on your own. No, I mean it, really. You're wasting your time. I'm not just as much trouble for them as you. I'm just as much trouble for them as you. Okay. New idea, is he a beast? Because... He's supposed to like be like... Beasts is like trouble for villagers, right? Mm. Is this happening some uh, somewhere like in the mid? What if? Ah, uh, okay. Wait, but the beast learned the language of this country, so to not understand each other, they should speak different languages. So the beast. Uh, New knows the Spanish basically and the whatever language he have. So we need someone who is not speaking Spanish and not speaking his language. I thought like maybe second beast is Javi, but it can't be the case because he's from like this place, so from his from Spain. So they should understand each other. But he knows... Language of this country... And didn't knew the language of Pauline. From whatever country she is. They can be like from different countries. Maybe this is our beast? Because he learned the Spanish, right? That's why he can talk with people from here. Right? Because they speak with... Sp oh, wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. She talked to him with English. My bad, my bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just got like... Uh, yeah. Confused with all the languages here. So, she's basically speaking to him with English because she don't know Spanish. So, this guy knows English and Spanish. Actually, yeah, he should, because she's a, he's like uh, the local basically for her. He says that he's the problem for villagers. He knows English and possibly knows Spanish. So it is possible that this guy, that, that Javi is our beast. So we still don't know who is the second beast, but the second beast must be someone who is like not speaking English or speaking Spanish. So it must be some entirely new character. Also that means that white haired girl speak... Uh, she could communicate with beast from the beginning, so she started talking with English probably. If that would be her, like, normal language. Ah, uh, my brain. Mm. Okay, okay, let's just read. I don't want to make this, like, another Umineko episode, you know? Like, when I do, like, stream for, like, six hours and, like, theory crafting about, like, who the hell Beast is. This is not Umineko, let's just read it. We will get the answers. It's fun to like make a theory here and there and just talk a bit, but I, I have a feeling like I'm doing it too much in Fata Morgana. It made sense in Mineko, but here? Maybe? Anyway, let's go. Using me isn't going to get you anywhere. Trouble? What do you mean by that, Javi? 
I think you need to know, lady. Bye. And stay away from the shore. Is he dumping bodies through the cliff? Yeah, hold on. Hold on a second. What? Pauline. What? My name isn't Lady. It's Pauline. Listen to me, Javi. I have no intention whatsoever of using you. I enjoy talking to you and I think it would be fun if I could do it more. That's why I want to be friends. Hmm. I can find you here at the beach, right? I'll be back, Javi. You won't uh, change my mind. I will make you my friend, Javi. What? What the hell, lady? Did you hear a word I said? I don't need any of them friends. And stay away from the beach. Yeah, I have a feeling like he's a beast. Like, he don't want her to be here. Actually, wait. Okay, never mind. This beach is on the cliff or not? I forgot. I don't think it's a cliff, right? It's not near the mansion. Yeah, yeah, it's not near the mansion. Never mind. Forget, forget, forget. Forget the, forget the idea. Actually, idea of beast, maybe? But the idea of, like, being, like, on the cliff and dumping bodies to the ocean. Forget that, okay? Because this is not the cliff. This is, like, some beach somewhere else. Not the cliff near the mansion. My, my bad, my bad. I understand, I understand, okay? I hope you will be my friend. Ain't happening. Wait, Javi. See you again. I'm not kidding. I will come back. Okay? Hmm. Interesting. I had actually at first been thinking that it would be easier to get information if I could make friends with someone in the village. But that orange uh, Javi gave me, well, me when I was sad and lonely and hurting, it was so amazingly fresh and delicious, more than any orange I've ever be had before. It was almost as though Javi's kindness was sipping directly into my mouth. I'm sure we'll be able to get along. I want to be his friend. Time is the only thing moving forward in my search. Some days, I would ask my mom, friend, Orlando, to accompany me on trips outside the village. But no matter where I go, I just hear the same thing. Also, the other beast can be Orlando as well. Actually... Actually, Orlando may know the language. No, okay, never mind. No, he cannot be. Because if he speaks if he, he with his native, they would not understand him. So he needs to know the native language. Okay, never mind. I just hear the same thing. The view of the ocean always keeps me from getting too dejected. It's an unimaginably huge chasm that keeps us apart. But at some time... There's something beautiful in the way the sea encompasses the entire world. The emerald expanse. It simultaneously robs me of him and soothes my heart uh, with, with its stunning brilliance. Perhaps I feel such a way of admiration for it. Because I was born along the seaside. Ah. Huh? He's not here today? Okay. Javi? You there? That's odd. I mean, you threatened him to that you will be back. <laughs> he doesn't like it, clearly. You just took his spot. What have you done? I can always find him here. Yeah, you just like assume like he, this is like his like daily schedule, I guess. But it's not like me, like, you'll find the same person every day in the same spot. Like, that's not how it works. Hey, Javi, where did you go? Okay, that's a scream. Okay, never mind. 
<laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. What the hell? What just happened? A pitfall? Really? <laughs> he just set a trap for her. <laughs> That's not very nice, Chubby. <laughs> Why would he do that to me? <laughs> because he won't stop following me around. You have an idea how annoying that is? That doesn't mean you have to do something so cruel. Huh. Have you learned your lesson and stay away from the beach? <laughs> Joke. Huh. Okay, she's trying. Hey. Wait, she's seriously crying. Uh, hey, don't cry. Just kidding. I'm not crying, okay. She got him too. Okay. One to one. What? Come on. You're faking? You tricked me? You played the first mean prank, Javi. You really scared me there. I kept telling you to stay away. It's your fault for constantly refusing to listen. I'm surprised you haven't bored yet. You must have a lot of time on your hands. I most certainly do not have a lot of time. My deadline is uh, for how long uh, I can be here is quickly approaching. But I will just get depressed if I spend all the time searching. If I can have some fun with you, Javi, I will have more energy. Fun, huh? So, you still haven't found him? No? You don't even know if this guy is alive or dead, just... Yeah, you just like believe that he's alive, you don't know. Forget it. I'm out of here. Yeah, hold on a second. Ow. Huh? Come on, you're not going to fool me again. No, I'm not joking around. I really... Uh, did she like sprain her like ankle or leg or something because of the pitfall? It looks like I twisted my ankle. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> but I will be just fine. Don't worry about me. Wait here. Okay. He's getting something. Like maybe bandages or something. Okay. So he does have like some supplies of like medicaments. Okay. Come on, let me see your food. Oh, Alright. Anka's swollen. At least learn to land properly. What? You're going to play me? When you are the one who dug the hole? No one ever goes on hard in a trap that basic. Wow. <laughs> At least none of my friends ever did. Wait. I thought you didn't have friends, Javi. Oh, shut your damn mouth. Okay. So he does have friends. Okay, never mind. This is not the beast. Unless he... He don't... Yeah, no. Okay, beast don't remember his past. So he don't remember if he had friends or not. So... This is not the beast. Never mind. Forget the theories. The friends just... Debunked that. Oh, shut your damn mouth. I'm going to bandage your ankle. Oh, I see. You went to get a bandage for me. Thank you. It was my fault anyway. Swap it out for the real bandage when you can. I'm sure your acquaintance has some. Really? It looks just fine to me. This filthy thing isn't suitable for someone like you, lady. Pauline. Quit that. What do you mean, not suitable? Do I have to explain everything? <laughs> yes. You are from a pretty well-off country, aren't you, Pauline? Well, compared to that, this is a poor village. We don't even have clean bandages to spare. Just gross scraps of cloth like this. It's not something you should be wearing. You think so? But you gave it to me, Javi. I won't be changing it anytime soon. Okay. Let me, Javi. Do you not like this village? Is she like falling in love for him? Actually... The only thing this place is going for it is the ocean. 
the ocean. It's the one thing that doesn't change no matter what. Okay. It's always beautiful. Okay, so this guy is actually local. And he, like, remember the changes, basically, how the war went, I guess. And the ocean is always the same. And the people changes. I see, I like the ocean too, Javi. I just don't have anything else to like. Oh, there you go again. Oh, I've got an idea. Javi? Javi? What now? A rowboat. I want to take a ride in a rowboat. Will you get mad if we borrowed the one tied up over there for a little bit? I doubt everyone would care if it's just for a little. Can you row the uh, row, the old lady? You will do the rowing, Javi. God damn it. <laughs> of course. Huh? Why me? What's the big deal? The water is mostly calm today. I think I will walk in the sea, it would be lovely. Can you call that a walk? That's a good question, actually. <laughs> sure you can. Come on, let's go. Give me a hand, Javi. God, you are one cheeky outsider. Okay. Oh, that's actually a pretty freaking amazing background. Wow. This is such a cool art. The bridge feels different on the water than it does on the beach, wouldn't you say? You think so? All the same to me. No, oh, it's definitely different. The smell of salt is stronger, and there's more moisture in the air. It's kind of like someone gently caressing your cheek. I'm not getting any of that. You are way too perceptive, lady. And together. Pauline. Oh. Never mind. Am I? Close your eyes, Javi, and feel the breeze. I bet you will get what I'm saying. Go on, close your eyes. No, I'm not going to. What? Why not? I just... Don't want to do what you tell me. Ah, no need to be petty. The sea is not always so calm, so kind. Huh. The hand that gently caressing your cheek uh, can, in a blink of an eye, become the wrinkled hand of the witch that destroys everything it touches. The witch, huh? Interesting. The ocean is scarifying. It's nothing uh, we humans have any chance uh, of standing up against. You're right. They know it very, very well. The man I'm searching for was in the shipwreck. I was told it killed him, but I refused to believe he would just leave me behind like that. Sometimes on a whim, the wrinkly witch will have mercy. I'm not so sure about that. I trust in the sea gentleness. I don't think it's all scary. The soft breeze, these calm waves, they saved him. I'm sure of it. He loved the ocean too, you know. He was always looking far into the distance, out across the water. His head held high, a stern, unwavering look into his eyes. And then he met the beast, and they... Yeah... They are still unwa unwavering. Just like, forever. I'm assuming he is the... Your lover? Yes. He is very dear to me, and I love him deeply. Oh. Let's see. He was really fond of the sea by my hometown. You live in a desert town, huh? Yep. It's wonderful. It's so peaceful and everyone's so nice. There's not a single bad person living there. Oh, I know, Javi. You should come visit my hometown sometime. Visit your home. Yeah. The ocean there is pretty too. 
The colors are a little deeper than they are here. It's like someone jealous sparkling in the light. I'm sure you will love it, Javi. Ah. Interesting. I would love you to come and visit. We can go see all sorts of things. There's uh, this shop that sells great hand sandwiches. Cool. I don't have any money for a trip. Good point. Very good point. Maybe not now. But you could in future. Or if you're interested at all, I could ask Orlando to bring you back with us, Javi. If you don't want to stay here, that is. That's a nice proposition. If, if like, you feel like you are a bother to the villagers, you don't really like this village, you seem to, not, like, don't have, like, anyone. I mean, he said he had friends, but maybe he's just, like, bullshitting us. Maybe it's actually a good idea to just get out of here. Because he's trapped here, essentially, right? Like, world money and everything. Along with the guy you're looking for? Yep, I'm sure he'll be uh, happy to have you along. Yeah, I have a feeling like Javi actually likes her and he's like jealous right now that the guy is like possibly maybe alive and if they find him then she would like still be with the guy and not with Javi I have been like he like he had like feelings for her actually give it a pot you would enjoy it I'm sure you sound like a child huh nothing I doubt I could even get permission to leave permission okay so you do have parents actually Okay, I thought like he had no parents, but it was just my assumption, I guess. Okay. Are your parents pretty strict, Javi? No. Okay. They're dead, both my mom and dad. There's the sound. Okay, Javi is a beast. I based that on the background uh, talk. There was like this like like this like uh, weird like whispering that no one understands when Javi just uh, talked. What? They were murdered. Can I like I cannot click. Okay. I'm staying with an acquaintance. With the mate? They try to work me like a horse though, so I sneak out uh, here when I get the chance. Maybe not. Okay, maybe he's not the beast. Okay, I'm confused. But this is getting like, very like on the borderline right now. He might feel like they make him work like a horse, like, you know, like, getting like the weeds from the garden and everything because made make him work to learn right mm, it's it's really borderline he could be or could not it can be just coincidence and just like me overthinking stuff was it in the war the war what are you talking about lady huh? wasn't this country involved in war not too long ago there was a war, yes, but no soldiers ever reached this village. Then, why would they be killed? It was the beast. There it is. And there's again the sound. The beast. Yes, the beast. He showed up one day and destroyed everything. The peace, my family, my friends. Okay, never mind. He's not... He's not the beast. He's a victim of the beast. Actually, so why did we have this like sound? Huh, interesting. Merchants and travelers visiting the village, everyone and everything. He slaughtered everything and then he disappeared. Okay, 
so he's not the beast okay def definitely so we can scrap the today's episode theory about javi being the beast okay <laughs> like entirely that man that the bestia destroyed everything yep again that bestia so this is so this is basically this is definitely spanish this is spain he's a murderous beast the whole village is terrified of him they go through their days like lifeless dolls enveloped in the storm cloud of terror bestia murderous beast so the grim air hanging in the village is it because of the war is it because a beast has been killing people a beast why would but hey chubby you said there were merchants and travelers visiting the village can you describe them for me there are all sorts like one who stopped by on the road to, to somewhere else yeah and he's going to describe the guy isn't he and an international trader on his way to purchase goods that's just like why the sound of beast when he's talking while he's like clearly not a beast at least from what he said that the beast took his like family and everything unless he's the second beast javi is the beast that came to the mansion and like got killed basically by the our beast okay i overthink stuff again this is my i guess thing and she realized that her lover is probably dead okay and we're back to the beast maybe no we are in we are back to the village in the perspective of bestia so from our beast so this is backstory now this is backstory when he was like wandering around okay we'll see this in the next episode next episode is going to be interesting this one was as well we made like a bunch of theories but i have a feeling like they are wrong javi is not the beast i got bamboozled so yeah anyway uh i will see you in the next one thank you for watching for this episode Hope to see you again in the next one. Leave a like if you liked the episode. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. You can check my Discord, which is in the description. And I'll see you all in the next one. So thank you for watching. And for the pocket watch, it's going out.